Hello everyone, and welcome back to An A-Hole Plays Oblivion. So last time, Desire had finished the Knights of the Nine DLC. She conquered the evil, saved the world, or at least as much as land as possible, and decided to give up being a crusader. And Sarah, and symbolically, left the uh, left the crusader equipment behind as symbolic that she's simply walking away because she just doesn't feel the hero. She doesn't believe in heroes. Well, she believes in heroes, she just believes them to be fools. So, you know, she, since she's no hero, and feeling some bitter bitterness and resentment over the fact that she still has no control over her life, uh, she just simply put it all and just walked away. So, she has come back to the Imperial City, as you can see from the shack that she's in, the shack, the shack that she bought, in order to do two things. The first is to... Uh, uh, one of those things is to join up and start the Thieves Guild questline, and the other is for a well-earned drink. Because damn it, she's she has uh, done more than she's ever expected to, done more for the world than she's ever expected to, and she just feels that uh, after all her, you know, after feeling like that she's not been controlled after everything, that she just really needs that drink. So without. Further ado, let us get to it. And so, for those of you who played this, I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> okay, so let's go up to the steps, and because where else Hello. to have a. Okay, so anyway, you guys know where I'm heading with this. As you can see, I'm heading straight for the... Everybody's leaving. Okay. Greetings. Hello. Okay. How do you do? How do you do? And we're heading straight for the bloated float. And you guys know exactly why I'm doing this. Uh, those of you remember, because this is one of the quests I remember from before. I don't remember too many more, but... Yeah, this one I remember, and it just makes sense, right? So, here she is at the Bloated Flute Tavern. Time for that well-earned drink. Hello, Ormil, my Ormil, my good man. Well met. Welcome to the Bloated Float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. That sounds lovely. Okay, so first off... Yes? Let's just do the personality game. I wish I could say that. All right, 80, nice. Okay, so, first off, let us get some booze. What can I interest you in? You have shit. <laughs> All right, well, let's get a nail then. Yeah. And she feels like she really needs it, so... Uh, let's get one bottle of that. And she feels like getting especially drunk, so let's get one of that. After all, she can always stay. <laughs> And I already have some food, but what do they have? Nothing much of anything. Holy shit. Well, don't see too many orders, so I'll get that. And you don't see too many strawberries. And you know what? Let's get it. Ah, oh, sure. Let's get the blackberries. Pleasure doing business with you. All right. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you, Ormil. And you know what? Let's just go in and enjoy. Farewell. Let's just find a seat. Uh, no. That's assassination. Uh, she doesn't want to be facing the wall. That's a terrible seating. I mean, why not put a chair there or something? And have seating where you can, you know, like change these into benches, you know, uh, retrofit these to be, uh, renovate these to be benches so people can look outside and, you know, put. Sh I don't know. I, I'm sounding like an interior decorator. Oh, <laughs> stop that. Stop. Just stop. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So, you know what? I actually discovered that there is a, uh... Mmm, glug, glug, glug. I'm gonna save those. Have that, have that. And you know what? Let's just have that, too. Oh, she's feeling mighty, mighty... Uh, <sighs> she's feeling mighty, mighty... Ooh, a shepherd's... You know what? Screw it. Let's have it. Have the strawberry, have the tomato, and have the venison. She's very, very hungry. And after all that, having sweet cake would be a bit much, so let's have 
Really? You can use these to make resist disease and all that? Wow, sweet cakes are awesome for alchemical ingredients. Look at that. Restore fatigue, health, and you get feather. Okay, well, let's have the sweet roll anyway. <laughs> yeah, I actually found that there is a bond that allows you to do, uh, excuse me, that allows you to do the, uh, watch out for the, you know, like the thirst and the hunger and all that. I didn't put it in, uh, download it, uh, just because uh, I like the way this is going for this, right? Like, when it comes to these survival things, I per much prefer it when it's more like, uh, I like a more casual survival thing element rather than a hardcore one and when I'm talking hardcore one I'm talking about like where uh, so the difference meaning uh, like uh, Fallout New Vegas uh, survival mode where you know it, the meters just kind of slowly raise up and every once in a while you had to stop to sleep and eat and all that and if you didn't of course you would just die uh, versus the hardcore that I prefer versus the hardcore of Fallout 4 where it was just like it, it seemed like you had to eat sleep and drink every two seconds you have to worry about the uh, radiation all the time, you know, like it was just, it seemed like half the game, uh, that's all you were worried about was your meter, was your, you know, all your rads and your, uh, thirst and your hunger, all, the, all those meters you had to worry about, well, you know, you know, they just seemed like that was half your game right there, and I don't like that. I like it when it's more complimentary, where it's not quite always in your face and you're always having to micromanage it, like in the Fallout New Vegas version, so that's kind of what I'm, uh, you know, because, like, that's that's kind of how I like my survival stuff. Uh, you know, because if I wanted hardcore, I'll get myself a survival game like The Forest or something like that. Uh, rather than, you know, a Fallout or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, to each his own, right? And uh, for those people who feel insulted by that, I'm sorry, I guess. But it's just how I feel. So anyway. Uh, yeah, now that Desire has eaten and drank. Oh... I mean, three bottles of wine with a couple of beers, that is an extremely terrible mix. That's gonna get, oh, that she, she probably is very, very surprised that she has not thrown up. She has missed the crowd here, and that's kinda sad that she drank and ate alone, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Ah, uh, poor desire. But, that's okay. Considering the bitterness that she's feeling, it's probably just best that she uh, was alone anyway. So. Let's just stand up. And she's probably feeling very, very drunk. I can guarantee you she's feeling very, very drunk. And let's just save it in case I did this wrong. There we go. And talk to Orville. Well met. Welcome to the bloated float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. She's the only inn on the water in Cyrodiil. Anyway, just a second, just drink some pop. Ah. Anyway, so she needs a bed. There's a room, all right, and a fine room it is. Yours for the night for only ten gold. Sold American. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. The room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. Sounds good. All right. Farewell. Farewell. You're a sneaky looking sort. Thank you. Move out of my way. Hey, don't be like that. Let's uh get him on our side. Go ahead. Ooh. What nonsense. That works for me. Okay. Well, Grom Gromman, Grayman, whatever. Uh tell me about the Imperial City. We rarely get real trouble here. The watch puts a stop to rough stuff damn quick. I'm mostly ornamental at the bloated float. Makes folks happy. Okay, and tell me some rumors. My cousin says the beggars all work for the Grey Fox. It's rather frightening. Yeah, they do. Or at least be that's seeing you. not that Desire knows. Just She just thinks. Uh, she just wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> all right. Um, is this it? Yeah. Oh, her head is just swimming. She's not even going to bother changing or nothing, so just... Ugh, oh, climb into bed. And sleep. 3 p.m. Ah, uh, well, let's just go straight through to the morning. 17 hours. Sure, why not? It's been through a lot.
And this is a very long time to sleep. How she's able to? That's a good question. <laughs> I guess she's just part cat. Or well, I guess Kajita, I guess. I don't know. I'm looking to find that the bloated flux has somehow put to sea with myself on board. I need to find the owner and discover what's happened. Dun dun dun. Yes. All right, time to find out what's going on. Okay. And you? Hey, who in oblivion are you? You don't look like one of the Blackwater brigands. That's right, I'm not. I'm simply a passenger. What? I was told there are only two others on board. I locked the bouncer in the storage room, and she has the owner. So that leaves you. She? Now I'll ask again. Who are you? Okay, I'm a member of your gang. There's no one else in our group except the four of us. The Blackwater okay. Brigands don't just take on new members out of the clear blue sky. They do now. When we formed the Brigands three months ago, I was told no more than a four-way split on all the profits. Yeah, well, you know. So stop telling lies and tell me what you're doing here. Uh, no other option, huh? Well, I'm not going to say. Then perhaps my sword can find the words that your mouth cannot. All right. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Ebony, I've killed a thief named Lich. Apparently, he's a member of some group calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands. They must have hijacked the bloated float and put her out to sea. It appears that Lynch has locked this bloated float's bouncer in the storage room. I should search his body and see if there's a key to free him. Alright. An Ebony Longsword. Ooh. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to take all of this. Okay. Why does it do that? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Okay. I have 3,000 gold. Shit, I didn't even notice. Lynch's instructions. Lynch. Your instructions are to make your way to the bottom deck of the ship and secure all the rooms there. Make sure you don't disturb Minx. She's to be left alone to do her assignment. Remember, after the ship is scuttled, we'll be back in Breville in three days. Make sure you destroy this note after you memorize it. L. L? I think that's L. Or, cursive can be a little difficult to read. I'm going to assume that's not L. Because <laughs> if there was an L, there'd be there. Uh, hmm. Maybe it is L. I don't know. Anyway. So another one is Mix. Okay. And let us check out this Ebony Lungsar. Ooh, it does a little bit more damage. Oh, it's kind of uglier. But it is a little more damage. Oh. So I'm doing one more point of damage. Like, see, that just kind of looks nicer. But at the same time, yeah, it does more damage. Uh, I am going for some aesthetics on this for her look. Like, that just doesn't match. This at least looks a little more on the elegant side. But it is... Oh, You know what? I'm going to come across more, so let's just stick with this for the time. Okay, and let us... Ah, so I can't deal with her. Let's just save this. Since I had no choice, uh, can I move him? I can. So. Uh, huh? Nope. Let's just do this then. <laughs> there we go. And now we'll just do that. Close him up in there. 
<laughs> and we'll save it. <laughs> All right, that was fun. And that's to the tavern deck, and oh, yes. Hi there. About oh. time someone showed up. Hello, Grandma. Thank you for freeing me. No problem. I'm Grom and Gromarad, the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman. I've been locked in that storage room for hours. I don't know exactly what's going on, but not long ago, a gang of thieves calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands stormed the ship. I see. They took myself and Normal, the float's owner, hostage, and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. Well, let's find out, shall If you we? can get me safely to the top deck, I can steer the float home. But I'm not budging until the coast is clear. Fair enough. I'm used to dealing with drunken louts, not a gang of well-armed thieves. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, uh, tell me about the brigands. All I know is there seems to be four of them. Three now. They blindfolded me before they put me in here, so I didn't see much. Well, what did you hear? Not gonna tell me, all right. Tell me about the bloated float. The float has three decks. This deck is the inn deck. The next level up is the tavern deck. And then there's the top deck. What about the poop deck? Because, you know, you got needs. All right. Good so, luck. Uh, You'll need it. You are completely worthless. Okay. And I still can't get to through here yet. Yeah, the ceiling cannot be open. So that's probably where Minx is. So it's one dead, one there. Okay, so up we go. Oh, there. Where do you think you're going? Celine's not going to like this one bit. I wasn't to be disturbed. Well, you see, Lynch set me up here. Lynch set you up here? Why? Did he send you to talk to Celine? Well, you see, uh, yeah, I'm to assist her. Honest. What does she need assistance with? She has Ormil under her own watchful eye in his cabin. Something isn't right here. What happened to Lynch? Well, he's, uh, he's dead, you see. You? You bested Lynch? I always knew he was out of practice. Oh, well, I suppose it's up to me to do his job for him, as usual. Now, now, we don't... I guess we did. <laughs> the second thief. This one, a dark elf named Minx. Seems like these thieves are using strange code names. The only useful bit of advice I discover is that their leader seems to be named Selene. I should search her belongings for anything of use, then make my way to the top deck and secure the ship's wheel for Gr Grauman. Alright, top deck key, and let's take it all. Nice work. Thank you. There we go. I'll wait on the tavern deck until you clear the top deck. That's where the ship's wheel is located. Sounds good. And yeah, ask about Celine. I thought I heard an Imperial woman's voice Imperial, while right. I was blindfolded. Other than that, I don't know much more about her. Well, you're really useless now, aren't you? All right. I await your return, if you return. Hey. Okay. Uh. And there's no, uh, no. Instructions, yes, yeah, the usual stuff. And did it? Yes, it did. Why is it doing that? Jeez Louise. Okay, let's just do another save. Okay. So, I haven't been able to do any of this peacefully. Ormo's cabin, yeah. Uh, yes. Ooh. And there's no one here. Uh, okay, so I guess it's the other way, which is fine. And top well deck met. Hi, Wrath. Ah, 
What are you doing up here? They find the Golden Galleon yet? The Golden Galleon? Um, I'm awaiting orders. Orders? Celine didn't tell me about this, and I don't remember her taking on someone else to help us find the Golden Galleon. Ah. When did all this happen? Uh, yeah, three days ago. Damn that woman. She promised a four-part split when we recovered the Golden Galleon. She never said anything about splitting it five ways. Well, you see... She said when we got back to the safe house in Breville, we would divide the loot after she fenced the damn thing. Well... Do Lynch and Minx know about this? Uh... I have no options. They're both dead. Okay. Well... Since they're out of the way, if I kill you, that means Celine and I split the take two ways. This heist is getting better and better. Ah, shit. All right, let's let's get this over with. Come on. Yeah. There you go, you dead fucker. I've slain yet another thief. This one, a large Nord named Wrath. He was guarding the ship's wheel. He mentioned that they hijacked the blood float to recover something called the Golden Galleon. I should now get Grauman and tell him that the path to the ship's wheel is safe. Okay, and do you have anything beyond Ormel's key? No, you don't. And three gold. You guys suck as thieves. And first off, Got to hit a little bit, so it wasn't much. Uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. And yeah, I decided to keep all the soul gems because I'm gonna start uh, stealing souls. All right. Top deck clear yet? Hey, girl. Sounds like get the coast is clear, so I'll make my way up to the ship's wheel. But I'm not moving this hulk an inch until Ormil is safe. You're very demanding, aren't you? And that's that's it. Okay. Be cautious. <sighs> Their leader sounds dangerous. I murdered three of her followers. I think I'm a little more dangerous. I've defeated... Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's just save this. Maybe I can do this peacefully? Get in here. I used the key. I took the key from Wrath, yeah. Wrath? I told him to guard the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? I'm here to join the gang. <laughs> we made a solemn pact not to let anyone else join the gang. I can remember it clearly, even though it was... Three months ago. What? Can no one in this gang keep things secret? Nope. I suppose you think you know why you've taken over the bloated float as well. The Golden Galleon, of course. To find the Golden Galleon. How, how did you know about that? No matter. Once I've taken care of you, hey. we'll scuttle the ship and be off to our safe house. Oh, come on. No one will find us there. You mean in Breville? Uh, again, you have surprised me with your knowledge of our operation. I suspect Lynch didn't check all the in rooms before we departed. You must have been hiding down there and made your way up here. How did you get past Minx, Roth, and Lynch? Well, uh, according to the only option I have, it's I killed them all. Impossible. You defeated the three of them alone? Yep. I, I'm humbled by your skill. And fear that assaulting you would lead to my own quick demise. It would. Please accept my surrender. Here's my blade. Please, no treasure is worth my life. The bloated float is yours. Thank you. Oh, and I got the black one, I believe. An unexpected voyage. Oh my god, stop that! Okay, and how is this blade? Oh, look at that. Okay, that's not bad looking, and it's uh, absorbed fatigue 20 points. Oh, it does 11 damage. You know what? I'll stick with this. I mean, I'll leave. The, I'll save that as a souvenir. And yes. Okay, let's just save it. 
I've already surrendered. What more do you want? Confessions. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. I feared that I'd be thrown to the slaughterfish. You might have been. Okay, so yeah. Uh, tell me about the summer. Those wanted posters of the Grey Fox are everywhere. Okay, not exactly what I was hoping for, but tell me about the Blackwater Brigands. If you get Selena safely locked up, I can tell you all I know. I won't feel safe until you do that. Ugh. God damn it. How about... Thank goodness you arrived. Tell me about Celine. Now that she's surrendered, please escort her to the last room on the inn deck. We'll lock her in there until we arrive at port. Uh, all right. <laughs> Fine. So here we go. The nice creaking sounds of the ship. And down below deck, you come in, you are. And where we're headed? We're headed this way. Here we go, here's your new room. Really? Oh. Celine is now safely locked inside a room on the in deck. I sh should return to Ormil and let him know so we can finally get the ship home. Sounds good, she just kinda disappeared. And it remains sealed forever and ever. Where she was never seen again. Man, pretty bloodthirsty. And yet, just have a dead naked corpse on the floor here. It kind of adds a bit of a charm, don't you think? Anyway. Hi. And you're just gonna leave. Okay, uh, fine. Oh, you got a lot of cheap wine in here? Oh my god. Just get some parchment. What about in here? Nothing worthwhile. Nothing worthwhile. Oh my god. You're the world's worst innkeeper. Alright, so tell me, Ormil. Now that Celine is locked up safely below, I think we can all breathe a little easier. I can't thank you enough. Oh, no problem. So tell me about the brigands. Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. I fashioned a tale about a golden galleon that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers and adventurers looking for the treasure. Mm. What could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? My business has increased quite a bit since I leaked the story. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Anyway, sorry to ramble. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely wait, 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 at the Imperial no, 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 City no, no, docks. No. Okay, so tell me about Celine. Celine no longer holds the bloated float. Obviously. Once we get to the Imperial City, I intend to make sure she is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Okay. And the brigands? I'm glad that you were on board to help rid me of them. If you hadn't been here, I don't even want to think about it. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Please, go get some rest. Okay, well, before I do that, let's just go talk to Drama. Many thanks. I'm preparing the ship for her return. Good to know. Thanks again for helping us. I'm sure Ormil will reward you appropriately. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing that. But, uh, because... Alright. Screw it. Too tired. <laughs> no. Let's just rest one hour. That should be suffice. That should suffice. There we go. The bloated float has arrived back at the Imperial City. I should speak with Ormil before I disembark. Let's just get up. Let's just cast my covering spell and- oh look! 
Grahman or Ormil came in while I was sleeping to stare at my naked body and take the dead corpse that I had in there. I really don't want you going in there. Alright. Hey, we got some visitors. You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Selene. I am, yes. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here, of course. Great. Ooh, 300 gold. Sweet. And the storage room will keep. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, tell me about Selene. She was a ruthless woman. And I'm glad she's behind bars, where she belongs. Ah. And the bloated float? Yes. The float is quite a vessel, don't you think? The only functioning tavern and inn on the water in all of Cyrodiil. Very true. Bought it maybe ten years ago when it was decommissioned. Had to gut the whole thing to make room, but kept it seaworthy. All the furnishings were built inside the ship, since they were too big to be carried on board. Spared no expense. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, cool. Well, thank you for letting me know. Farewell, my friend. Excellent. You're talking to Algot the Northerner. Guess you've got nothing better to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're right. <laughs> I'm here because I'm a loafer. And the city's an easy place for a loafer to get by. I do odd jobs, a little adventuring, build up a little pile. Uh, if only reality was like that, where you could just dive into a dungeon and grab some loot and you're good for a few days, you know? <sighs> but alas, reality sucks. <laughs> People wonder why they read books and shit. Anyway, tell me some rumors. There's some fine light armor at- Okay, I don't want to listen to the rest of that. That's you not too. a rumor. <laughs> That's just stating a fact. Okay, and have I- How did- Okay, so I accidentally ran across- Areldil. We don't have any business, do we? Then perhaps, will you excuse me? Um, tell me about the Imperial City. I'm not in the habit of answering questions for strangers. No offense intended. Wow, you're a real dick, you know that? Okay. We'll see. Sweet. All right, I get it. Okay. I'm not in the habit of answering questions for strangers. No offense intended. Why are you such a dick? I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. Okay, great. Take care. Well, at least now you're better dispositioned. Wow. Oh wait, I already talked to that guy. Okay, so let's get out of here. And let us do some selling. Hello, Hail good sir. Good citizen. How can I be a Actually, you're the closest one by. There's no problem, is there? No, there is not. And I can't say anything. I, I want to ask live about Selene. The Empire. Yes, long live the Empire. I heard you know how to move in light armor. Well, since I'm wearing some, that kind of makes uh, kind of makes it obvious, doesn't it? Don't you think? Wait, the carrier? Ah, what do you have for me, good man? Sorry, only one copy of the black. Rumors. Gray Fox. Okay, never mind. Farewell. <laughs> okay, time to get back to selling. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Have a look at. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you. Good day. All right. So, there's something I wanted to do. Right. Let us move back to my castle. Just to drop off the sword. I can hear those guys quite a far ways away. Well, I gotta get down there. <laughs> I, I totally forgot about the texture and stuff. And 
Oh, okay, good. Uh, yes. And let's stick my Blackwater Blade in there. Woo! From a quest, from a quest. Oh, the dull. Oh! 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 I wanted the sharp or the fine. I had the... Uh, fuck my ass. Oh, well. It's a unique design. Boomerang sword. Gotta love that. Yeah. Saving that to be... Uh, to be enchanted. Okay. So, let us check out... My, t my trophy room. Because I think it's just Daedroth and the mountain line that's left. Right? Wait, hold on. Let's, uh, okay, so there's something there. Probably going to be the Daedroth, I imagine. Oh, I did get the mountain line. So I have the bear, the clan fear, the... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Got the bear, nice and fierce. Got, uh... Clan Fear. There's a wolf. The Minotaur. The mountain Lion. Ooh, they're looking also fierce. There's still one there. And there's a troll. So what am I missing? Um, uh, instruction. Here we go. So the bear, yes. The wolf, yes. The Minotaur, mountain lion. Ogre, right. It's the ogre I need in the Daedroth. You know what? I might... I don't have any of those ingredients, but maybe in the Imperial City. Hey, you got some guards <coughs> wandering about. Since I have to go back there anyway. Ah, my castle, my castle. All right, enough, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, let's go to the market district. Just mainly because they might have the ingredients for that and ah, uh, shit. Well, let's uh, <laughs> head to the waterfront and sleep <coughs> till the morning. It's just mainly because I want to... You know what? Screw it. What time is it? 8.30. Okay. Sounds like a truly mysterious place. Be seeing you. Who will help an old beggar? Uh, someone else. Because apparently I want to be a dick. <laughs> wow. Almost feels like my acrobatics is like all oh, just like high, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not that high. Oh man, that means that uh, <laughs> if I ever get it up, it's gonna be super ridiculous. Weep! Okay, so can't do anything for the time being. So let's just have her wait uh, two hours. And why two hours? The Thieves Guild, of course. Okay. Oh, and someone's there. Hi. Armand Amuse? Okay. Oh, you're the guy I saw on the road! Okay, and I've seen you around, Mithridel. And hey, hey, hey! You know, ease up, you know? I, I, <laughs> you're, why do you have your hand on your weapon? <laughs> I, I, I'm coming in peace. Alright, hi, Armand. Do I know you? Uh, no, but let's. Alright. That's re it's not bad. Tell me about the great he is the king of thieves in Cyrodiil. You could think of him as our guild master, although he would deny that title. Okay, uh, tell me about the Imperial City. A little tip. People who ask a lot of questions around here tend not to be very popular. Well, that's unfortunate because I do ask a lot of questions. All right, I want to join the Thieves Guild. Everyone is here. Let's begin. Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves Guild. Okay. The Thieves' Guild is not a myth. We are followers of the Grey Fox, and I am his doyen. Merely by finding me, you have passed the first test. Well, I've told you we're here. It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. 
Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. Okay. That's not fair. Why? Methodel, you know the rules. However, for Amuse and the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Okay. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Aleptus without killing him... Sounds good. ...will be invited into the guild. All right. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise! It's somewhere in the Imperial City. The beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. Nope. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. Okay, so Amentius Electius, Electus's diary. Somewhere in the Imperial City. Tell me that the beggars might be able to tell me where to find him. Hmm. Maybe he lives in the Elven Gardens. One more. Sure, and yeah, her. Thank you. Don't pay attention. I've had. Yeah, here you oh, go. Oh, you are most generous. On the <laughs> he lives in side. the temple district on the far east side. Uh, he's a, an early riser, uh, usually up by sunrise. Thank you so much, my kind sir. Blessings uh, of Mr. Turns out that the shield of the Crusader had been uh, locked away all this time. Kept oh, safe by the people who originally found it. Can't stand so I sight of those creatures. Okay, you know, the reason why I'm doing this by foot rather than tra fast travel, I think it might be faster if I go by foot. Okay. Ah, shit, she's got such a huge lead on me. What is it, citizen? Oh, shit, she came here at the same time I did. Why is she faster than me? Oh fuck, she's super, super fast. Stop! Thief! Okay, so <laughs> that was actually surprisingly easy. Uh, where is his diary in here? Did I seriously not have it? Oh, here we go. I planted the seeds of the drinkers. The, the drinkers? Soon I shall know if my theories hold true. The first shoots have appeared. I must make sure to continue the precise schedule of nutrient solutions. Small trigger fronds are clearly visible. This is a critical time in their development. I'm almost out of rat blood. Um, rat blood? I'll have to catch some more of the filthy beggars. The young plants are juveniles now. I can see them waving as if in breeze. Although the air in my cellar is as still as death. I've had a hard time catching any more ca cats! I may have to start using dogs. Oh my god. The damn drinker plants have a voracious appetite. Oh my lord. Uh, one of them cut me today. I'll have to be more careful. My creations are refusing to feed. As an experiment, I'd offer to drop my own blood, which one of them drank greedily. The other drinkers are beginning to wither. I collected a bucket of human blood from the healers. I had to pay her an exorbitant amount to keep her tongue still. The drinkers are doing much better. Am I doing the right thing? The benefit of these plants to all of Cyrodiil is beyond doubt. How? But the price may be too high. It is one of the most difficult decisions of my life. I have destroyed my notes for how to hybrid drinkers, hybridize drinkers. I set the trays on the roof where the sun should, could strike them. And after sunrise, they were all dead. My attempt to create a hybrid of vampire plant has failed. They were just too dangerous. Two parts grave dust, one part ash salt, mixed with human blood, exposed to two hours of moonlight each night. Oh my god. Hi. Thief! You stole that diary from me! Now I have to wait to get into the guild! I didn't steal from you! Oh my god, I stole it before you could steal it. You bitch. Jesus, what's wrong with these people? Hey, I'm gonna say. Are you gonna be a little bitch what about is it, this citizen? Too? Uh, you nothing. Have my ear, citizen. Yes, it's nice. Step aside. I'm going to win the right to join the guild. You can't beat me. Except I just did. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, 
Okay. Let's just watch her run in the night. For a 92 speed, she's pretty slow, I gotta say. <laughs> How can I help you? I don't think you can. At least not yet. Alright, Armand, I passed your little test. And yoink. Yoink. Whee! Bonk. Hi, Armand. Yes. You might do. I might? Okay, uh... Tell me some rumors. If you want luxury, there's nowhere better than the Ty Perceptum Hotel. Not true in the slightest. I've come across a couple of rooms in other cities that are much, much better. Alright, Thieves Guild test. Congratulations! You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves Guild. Yay! You now owe your loyalty to our Guildmaster, the Grey Fox. He has three rules you must follow. If they're sexual, I'm going to be upset. All right, what are these three rules? First, never steal from another member of the guild. Okay. Second, never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. <clears throat> Sorry. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox particularly here on the waterfront. Okay. And, yeah, tell me about the Thieves' Guild. What do you want to know? Uh, what if I do kill someone? Sure. Breaking any of the three rules means expulsion from the Thieves' Guild. If you commit murder, you must pay the blood price to rejoin the guild. Blood price is for each Ooh. person slain. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. You can pay any ow. of the guild doyens. Ow, that hurt. Oh, my poor broken body. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, that feels better. Oh, God. You tell me about the Gray Fox. He's been around forever. It must be 300 years or more since he took charge. I'm not sure he's even human. Oh, great. And what about... Her? Okay, who's this Hieronymus Lex that apparently I've heard about and just wanted to ask you about it? He's a captain of the Imperial Watch. He is pursuing a personal vendetta against the Thieves' Guild and the Grey Fox. I see. Two years ago, I made a fool out of him when he tried to arrest me. Lex has never forgotten it. I see. And, oh, you have more to say about the Grey Fox. All Thieves' Guild members have sworn loyalty to him. If there is such a thing as a Guildmaster, he's it. Well, there would have to be, now wouldn't there? Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, sources of information. The best source of information are the beggars. Their eyes and ears seem to be everywhere. Okay. However, be prepared to spend a little coin. They won't tell you anything for free. At least not anything true. Oh. Uh, that's fine. And... What about special jobs? You need more experience before I can use you on a commission job. Ongar tells me that you haven't turned in much loot yet. Um, who's Angar? When you've contributed enough to the guild coffers by selling stolen items to Angar, I might have something for you. Come back then. Okay. Well, I do have some... Well, speaking of which, I do have some, uh... Uh... Sp blah, 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 blah. I do have some stolen items I need to sell. Uh, some guild jobs. Jobs? We're thieves, not masons or scribes. Aw. Look, you're on your own as a thief. Go find a likely-looking house. Case the joint to see when the owner is gone. Okay. When he leaves, you break in and steal some stuff. You don't need special permission or orders to do that. But what if I want to However, have However, you will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Most other merchants won't take hot merchandise. Okay. So we all work alone? Well, sometimes the guild gets a special commission. You know. Guaranteed paid to acquire certain items for special clients. You should check in with your doyen every once in a while to see if there are any commission jobs available. Okay, and... I don't have anything to... Okay, nothing to ask about the, uh... About gung gar 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 Shadow hide you. Alright. You, your crimes have made you unfit to wield the Crusader's relics. Walk the pilgrim's way to repent of your sins and once again seek the favor of the gods. Okay, well, I will do just that. 
Ah, our newest pickpocket. Okay, and pay off my phone. You can pay your fine. Okay, we're It's your... Yeah, and... What do you want? And work. Yeah, where can I find a fence? The best fences are only available to the higher rank Thieves Guild members. Here's a list of who you can use. <laughs> okay, tell me about Ongar the fence. Ongar lives in Bruma. Ah. He doesn't have much money, but he's the only place you can sell hot property if you are new to the Thieves Guild. Sounds fine. And let's see. What do you want to know? Anything else? Yeah, what is a Doyen? The Doyen are the hands and eyes of the Guildmaster. You said you he take wasn't your one. Orders from them, you get your favors from them. All right. I am one Doyen, and Scriva is the other. Ah. I... No. Okay, well, thanks. Shadow hide you. Thanks, Armand. Well. Isn't that just lovely? So. Let us go back. To. Hey. My. <laughs> okay, so my light armor went up, and so did my armor uh, protection. Uh, where is it? So let's go back to my castle. Oh shit! No, 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 no. I forgot the whole reason why I was there. <laughs> well, now that I've done all this, gone all this way. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, go to the market district. Okay. No, don't come near me. I don't want to get. Why don't just eat them? So I'll have to hunt them down the old-fashioned way. Come no back problem. and see me again. That means I'll have to come back, come in time. Farewell. All right. Farewell. Well, still got a uh, journeyman out of it, and that looks to be it. So now, uh, let's go back to my castle. Don't think I have anything else left in here. It's nice to see I only have two trophies left to get. I'm willing to bet that the... Oh yeah. Date... Well, one or the other has to go there. So then, who's going to be this one? The ogre or the Daedroth? Man. Whoo! <clears throat> Oops. I could go get myself some more food and drink, but I'm not going to. Oh, hello everyone. Take your orders from me, your mistress. Anyway, enough of that silliness. Uh, good job, my sir. Good job. Nicely patrolling. And you hang out in my room Hello. all the time. That, and you apparently can teleport short distances. Well, that's just kind of freaky, but cool. Oh. Oh, wow. Magic from the sky? The madness of Pelagius. Okay, cool. And what? <sighs> nothing. That oh. is it. Don't. Why well, don't you? Why? Wait. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? I mean, there's nothing in there. Stealing my stuff. Oh, there's the wood. Uh, the wood supply. All right, let's just, uh, you know what? Let's just sit down at my desk. I haven't done that yet. There we go. Now you're looking like a boss. A uh, bitch of a boss is going to be a total cut to her employees. She won't. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, nice upward angle. Too much of an upward angle. There we go. Okay, so... Kind of didn't accomplish much, but we got into the Thieves' Guild, which got us uh, defrocked, I guess. Uh, that's okay, we can always get it back later. Uh, when I'm done the Thieves' Guild mine. Or, 
if she goes into the Assassin's Guild quest, uh, Guild quest line, you know, after that one, uh, because I, because if they're kind of upset with the, uh, you know, joining the Thieves Guild, they're probably gonna be really, really pissed that I joined the the Dark Brotherhood. So you know, just kind of maybe take it easy on that. So anyway, uh, yeah, so things gonna be a little more lighthearted. Desire's probably feeling a little bit better, if hesitant on taking this. She doesn't consider the loss of the of the perks of the of the perks of the uh, the of the of the Knights of the Nine uh, of the Crusaders, the perks of the Nine Divines Crusader stuff uh, to be all that big of a deal. After all, yeah, you know, she it's just not being a hero is just not her thing, or at least not for now. And yeah, uh, so the question remains: How long before I continue with the? Uh, before I continue the main quest? Well, that's a good question. I really don't know. I mean, the thing with it is, is that there's just so much to do. So much to do. This is going to be such a long gameplay. But that's okay. I've seen people do, like, uh, episodes of, like, the over 100 on these on Elder Scrolls and all that. Like, uh, do, like, one story that's, like, 80 stories long, 100 episodes long. And yeah, this is just going to be one of those. I don't know if it'll be 100 <laughs> episodes. I, I don't think it will be. Uh, but I mean, you never know, right? So anyway, uh, this is Desire's story so far. She's just got her feet wet into the Thieves' Guild, and she's feeling both a little trepidation and a little excitement. Because, you know, maybe now, finally, she's writing her own story, or guiding her own fate. And we shall see. So thank you so much for coming and watching. I hope you uh, come again next time, and continue to enjoy Desire's story. I've been an a-hole playing Oblivion. Take care.